everyone. See, see how I did that. I didn't say "Hey guys" or "Hey yeah, gals" that you time. Did. Very uh, fair. To yeah. Welcome, all creatures. Well, <laughs> welcome to Stuck in Beta. And I know I was leaving it go. Oh, you're I've been giving doing us a little last week or wow. three. Welcome to Stuck in Beta. I'm Greg. That's Josh. That's also Josh. Uh, we're the only show with one Greg and two Joshes. How do you know that? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I want to see the data. Has anyone else claimed to be that? Show me the data. Episode 109. Can you believe that? That is... Incredible. That's pretty incredible. <clears throat> Two be plus years. Because I, I saw uh, there's another Jefferson County yeah. podcast. They're only like on 50, 50, 55 five or something. Yeah. Which one is that? The you one north of us. Yeah. You don't want to give a shout out? No. Name oh, we'll give a shout out. A town. A town. Yeah. I don't, are they boop. weekly still? I don't know that they're weekly. They may not they, be weekly. They they uh they do editing and stuff like that. Like that. Nah, we don't yeah. do editing. We're all live, man. We yeah. All I do is you hear the <laughs> oh, damn, wrong button. You hear the man. You, we they come out. We yeah. record live, and then in I front just of a studio audience in front, and then we just snip it. We, yeah. <laughs> I just snip it. Snip what? <laughs> the video and audio. Okay. So, what's up for this week? Uh, oh, man. So, I finished uh, that garage sale. Remember oh, I talked yeah. about all that crap I was getting rid of last week? Did you sell it all or did it, it was, go to Goodwill? So, a lot of it, we sold a lot of it on um, th Friday. We started on Friday. And right out of the gate, man, we... We did not finish setting up for it on uh, Thursday. We were just exhausted. We took all of all, you know all the stuff out of the house and put it out on tables, and we were trying to work on pricing and everything and all that stuff. And we just like, like ah, we'll finish it in the morning. And we got up, you know, regular time Friday morning around five o'clock. Got out there, got started, and kind of had things relatively organized. But we were still pulling things like out of totes and you know all that sort of thing. And man, the the Elderly folks started <laughs> flowing in. It's we had it in the in the leader at for a start time of seven, the local newspaper, for a start time of seven. They started flowing in at like six fifteen. Oh sure, <clears throat> six. They got to find the if, deals, man. And what did they think you had that they must have? You know. Well, they. I bet the mindset is probably that you know the first person, yeah. the early bird gets the worm, right. Greg. Sure. So Were you selling worms? Did you put in the paper that you had like rare, no. rare antiques? Nothing like that at all. Fake jewelry? But we had depends. Costume, costume jewelry is a big deal. You can get a lot of money for costume jewelry. Oh yeah. Yeah, on eBay. We had uh, I had a bunch of like I expired guess you could call it, prescriptions. You could call it collectible type stuff like um, well your base cardinals you memorabilia. About. They did not sell, but we had a bunch of um, like just cardinal type. Um, I don't know. Memorabilia or whatever you want to call it, just stuff like that. Like posters and pictures. Posters, and pictures. You know, like the um, what was it, 2006 World Series um, cans and oh, yeah. bottles and stuff. That all sold in in a blink, man. It just went. These so these so this couple came in and like bought so much of that stuff, and then we had some like BB guns and just stuff from when the boys were little that they don't play with anymore. And this uh, these two older guys, much much older. Um, they came and bought so like all that 45. stuff. Yeah, no, <laughs> times two. Um, they bought like all that stuff, hmm. and I don't know if they were like flipping it or what, or Prepping maybe they had the grandkids. War. Whatever, yeah. you know, if it was, if they're flipping it, who cares? Oh yeah, you I should have made care. them buy like some of your old T-shirts. You know, you buy X number of cardinal things, you have to buy a T-shirt. Yeah, with exactly. It. Did your Ninja Turtle uh, t-shirt no, sell? No, it never did. That's surprising to me. I know. Yeah, I had a bunch of t-shirts that I sold at a garage sale, and hmm. they sold no problem. I, you know, I had a lot of goofy shirts like I that. I guess when, you're, when your customer base is uh, a median age of, you know, <laughs> 73, um, yeah, they're not going to get into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, you know. You know. But, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff went, and then we took the rest of it to Goodwill. And But before we did that, we had some, like, uh, just some random things in the basement that we wanted to get rid of, like some flooring and stuff. So we took it to that Habitat store, the Habitat mm -hmm. for Humanity store, or Restore. That pl Have you been in the new location that's here? I couldn't tell you the where shoe, it is. The shoe warehouse. It, yes, the shoe okay. warehouse. <laughs> that's the first time I've been in there, and I had no idea that it's pretty much like the goodwill up front i mean they have 
DVDs, CD, CDs, VHS movies, just random. VHS, all right. I yeah. got to go up there. And I was like, I thought this was supposed to be just like home home remodeling type stuff. Yeah. Oh, they're just getting money for human. Uh, the, what is it? Uh, habitat, habitat for human yeah. Humanity. But if, had I known that, I would have just dropped it all off there. But um, yeah, yeah. Cause, I don't know. Goodwill. I mean, it's it's nice. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I think there's some false pretenses there. Oh, really? Yeah. I think mm-hmm. they're a great place for Halloween stuff, though. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, you can find a lot of costumes and decorations huh. and stuff there. They have. Why are you laughing? Nothing. But the, I mean, they're, the clothing that they have there Josh is is fairly I decent. But Goodwill. like all the like home furnishings or whatever are so dated. Like yeah. everything there is from like the the eighties, and it was the exact same at the Habitat store. So I'm like, the, now we have two stores that yeah. have just hey, at least junk. it's not on Main Street. I guess that's true. Yeah, it used to be up all up and down Main Street was these. There are still junk resale. stores on there Main are, Street, but I'm, but I'm saying at least we don't have another one on yeah. Main Street. I felt like the Habitat store, though, the stuff there was a lot more expensive than Goodwill. Really? Like, they had, like, um, you know, like, uh, desks and stuff like that. I mean, old stuff that was so highly priced, like $50 for mm. something that probably at the Goodwill would be, like, 5 or $10. How much was, well, you probably, how much were, like, movies, like a DVD? They didn't, they, the prices weren't listed there really? on them. Because yeah. I know at Goodwill, they're like, anything on the shelf, two bucks or right. whatever. Yeah. Books, uh, you know, children's books, 50 cents, adult books, a dollar or something. Adult yeah. books. What kind of Goodwill are you going to? <laughs> not, you know, uh, not children books. Gotcha. <laughs> and uh, they wouldn't, at the Habitat store, we called them ahead of time because we had a, like a bunch of, you know, half gallons of paint or quarter gallons of paint that we just didn't have any need for. And we asked them if they t- take them. That's the one thing they're not accepting right now. Cause, <laughs> and we went in there and looked. It was like half of uh, or a quarter of the, the lower level was just paint. And it was gallons and five-gallon buckets. Huge. Just random Huge. color? Yeah, yeah. That stuff separates after a while. Doesn't I don't know how they're going to turn that inventory. Like, it, There's no way. Yeah. I guess weird. if maybe you're an artist or something, that would be a place to get some... Yeah, materials, maybe, but maybe. but I don't, you know. But it's not like you're gonna paint a piece of artwork with indoor eggshell paint. Well, I don't yeah. know. Maybe if you're doing some bigger, like um, like mural or something. mural or something for like sculpture park. Yeah, you know that that type thing. I that's saw some dirty possible. jobs once. There's paint recycling places. Yeah, that's what I was. Um, well, we ended up <laughs> taking it to a recycling. Place. I heard this okay. story. Yeah, we went. We drove all the way out to um, to Eureka because we had a whole bunch of recyclable stuff. And I'm trying to do the right thing, trying to be environmentally friendly. Had a bunch like an old TV, um, some copper. Uh, now we had a bunch of random stuff. We had some stuff that they, they charge you. They charge you to donate TV. Or cans. You said to yeah, cans and bottles. Aluminum cans. Yeah. Um, we had paper. Um, but the paint they charge you to mm. recycle, so I wasn't sure what the prices of gallons or weight or whatever they I do everything by weight. But I had probably about half of my stuff was recyclable, or um, you would get money uh, back for, and the other half you had to pay for. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> I was joking with Lori that you know there's gonna guys gonna come around the corner and say, well, you made a dollar twenty. Right. Well, it ended up being three dollars and twenty cents is what we made. <laughs> But at least we were in the black, I guess. You yeah. Know? I was hoping that we would have made enough to at least, you know, be able to buy lunch, but it didn't work out that way. Well, you could have went somewhere and got, like, dollar yeah. menu. You That's could have went to Jack in the Box at Six Tacos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And maybe yeah. paid for tax. Would have been close. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would have had to pay tax out of your pocket, but, <laughs> you know. Where else do you keep your money? Well, I guess if you may uh, keep it in your fanny pack, fanny pack, Good your point. purse. Those are, those are hip now. Have Apparently, you seen that? I yeah. know. Yeah. The kids are wearing them. Kids. I, they're really stupid, though. They, I don't care if they say they're in style. They're dumb. <laughs> they're dumb. Really? Tell me your feelings about them. Well, I'm not going to say that I didn't wear one when I was a you did? young kid. Yeah. I never had one. When when we you went to like cool. no. when we went to like Six Flags, yeah. okay? I would, you know, I'd wear one so then you'd have your wallet cuz you'd want your money and your tokens or whatever and then you'd uh, 
when you go to the arcade at Six Flags and you go, oh, a dollar for this, and, you know, you'd win your tickets and throw it in there. And it was really stupid. You look back and you're like, man, that is so dumb. They're back, man. They are back. I, I see girls wearing them. didn't get the ladies then. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't. Girls are wearing them because they wear the yoga pants, you know, yeah. and then they have the t-shirt or the tank top on or whatever, so they have no pockets. Well, then wear yoga pants with pockets. But really, yoga pants with they pockets, and they're gonna, <laughs> and they're gonna have a. You they're know, so tight. You would, yeah, yeah <laughs> you'd see the keys. Yeah, you'd see the form of your key. Why do they call them fanny packs? Because usually they're in the front, right? Yeah, isn't that? Yeah, yeah, or on the side. Yeah, or they're wearing them like Rambo, you know, across the chest. Oh, oh now that is that's, that's a sense. badass right yeah. there. Uh-huh. Especially if it, if it looks like you know the strap has like bullets, <laughs> like Chewbacca. Yeah, you know? yeah. We worked with a guy That's that tried idea. wearing a fanny pack to work a couple times. Yeah, remember? yeah. And remember when... <laughs> he tried. When I, he tried. I, when I, first I think st- he got ridiculed pretty hard. Yeah. And when I first started... When I first worked with you guys, you were all wearing your phones on your belt. Hey, on your there was belt. nothing wrong. Oh, I'm like, oh, yeah. you're so there's, cool. Hey, there's still a bunch of elderly... I'm like, elderly? Do that. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you use your pocket? And this was before... <laughs> yeah, it was before the phones were as huge as a tablet. It was probably a three-inch screen. Yeah. Flip phone. Yeah iPhone's the best wrong. thing ever, and you're stupid wrong. for having an Android, there Greg. There's nothing wrong with wearing your phone on your belt. Yeah. You're, oh, my God. <laughs> Put in your pocket. Easy access. <laughs> but all Easy three access. of you that work <laughs> with all of you, Adam. And he came in like an asshole. <laughs> I came in, I go, I came in with my Android phone and using a pocket. <laughs> all of a sudden, they, f- well, at least he fell in line. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Follow your leader. Too. Yeah, Scott did, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, did you want to get into the dinner out story? I think it's so. I think we the... got a good mushong <clears throat> mushong service story here. Well, as usual, <laughs> our, we, uh, we have intro music for this. <laughs> we, we should. should. We, we should, should have a crappy so service. It's a fist Woo. shaking <laughs> and so <laughs> this this weekend uh, we met up with uh, the Eppleys here and we decided we were going to go to. Uh, to a place on the hill, um, the Italian. Uh, we'll just say neighborhood. Favazes, the Italian neighborhood of St. Louis. Man, going deep. We're man. going deep. Like, oh okay. man, I mean, that's probably not the right area to be calling out. No, if you think about it. So we were gonna no. go to we were gonna go to Mama's first. I enjoyed my experience very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we were gonna go to Mama's. I my life first. Don't pull up my car. But Mama's was um, they they're really crowded. It was gonna take an hour. And that was Molly couldn't even get to the the uh, hostess to even put her name in yet, but she could hear other people. They were saying an hour, so we we ended up going to Favaz's because it's a much bigger place. And um, so we went in. Uh, it took us only about twenty twenty five minutes to get a get a table. So we were pretty, and they have an awesome patio there. I mean, I don't know I've ever eaten there. fireplace outside. They have. Nice covered patio, half covered, half not covered. We were in covered part, and it was a really nice evening. Yeah. Um, and that's when it all changed. And that's when it all changed. So, <laughs> no, we we all ordered, and um, Molly and I split a salad. Salad came right away. It was no big deal. She says, Josh and Lori had ordered a oh, an appetizer. Yeah, ravioli, toasted rav. Mm, it was fantastic. And she said... Um, they supposedly have some of the better toasted raviolis, don't they? I don't know, but it was really so. good. She Well, she uh, the the waitress told them that she's like, oh, I couldn't get to the, the appetizers, so I'll be back with those. It it took probably another 20 minutes before your toasted rav came. Maybe. I was enjoying my company, though. Yeah, I mean, I we, had, we, had, we had enjoyable conversation, and uh, it was a nice night. So they brought that. And it, it was looked, piping hot, yeah, it looked, steaming. Had to break them in half. And all that, which so you know that's per usual, yeah. Yeah. So we were waiting for, I it was an hour, um, before we got our food, and when our food came out, like, and our our waitress really didn't. She kind of, she didn't really come back to us and say like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's taking so long." And in the meantime, we had all these other guys that filled water and. Actually, it wasn't our waitress who brought the the appetizer yeah. to you. Anyway, we got 
our food. Uh, Molly was the first one to try hers. She goes, "This is ice cold," and I'm I'm trying mine. I got like a. Um, it was kind of like a um, broccoli. Um, Pasta and broccoli, broccoli but yeah. with a uh, mix sauce. Yeah, a little oh, mix sauce, light. and they had chicken. But the broccoli was hard. It was like not cooked. <laughs> it, it was it was raw. It was cold. Molly's was cold. Theirs was cold too. But they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they were. I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's the hill. <laughs> so they were hungry. Uh, Saint Saint. Okay. So so he called the the um, wait. Waitress, were like, "Hey, could you get the waitress over here?" Sure. Never came. So Molly's like, "I'm going up." So Molly went and <laughs> said, "Hey, What's wrong with your voice there? Can I get?" And she told her that all the food was cold and everything. You know, the manager came and said, "Can what? What can I do? What do you want me to do?" No. Yeah, he said, "What? What can I do?" To what can uh, I do? He didn't say, well, "What do you want me to do?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a little different. Yeah, those, yeah. Two, those two statements mean. So Molly is like she, once she, yeah, she's like I'm done with this, and uh, I said. Did she say it's fine? I said reheat it. No, she didn't want her. She said it was awful, and they so theirs was cold too, and but they they were just oh, about finished. And even though Dude, you, I was hungry, and you said it, it was nine o'clock at night. He yeah, said it was. Late. He that's said really it was late. cold too, and he. He's like, yeah, that shrimp in there is, you know, be perfect for a cocktail, you know, cocktail, cocktail shrimp, sauce. but not a. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> to them, I didn't oh. say it to the guy. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He, like like he Greg didn't said, slunk I, down. I don't like confrontation. Yeah. Like it was one of those situations where after the fact, you wish that you would have said something, yeah. but you're just kind of like. Our bill ended up being cheaper than theirs because <laughs> they took stuff off our bill and they didn't take it Did off there. Did you bring it home? Uh, so I had that, and I gotta say, I, I, it wasn't as good as I would have wanted, but it's probably just because I ordered the wrong thing. But when it came back, it was like burn your roof of your mouth. Oh, really? Our our food had to have been sitting in the window for yeah. ten minutes, That's fifteen minutes. Happened. I don't so, mean I don't know why that happened, how that happens, or whatever, but that's obviously what happened. Well, and she goes, ah, our waitress finally came. Oh, did, yeah, that's right. Did he take care of you? Or did did the manager yeah. take care of you? Yeah, he yeah, he did. She goes, Yeah, that, that happens from time to time. <laughs> yeah. Like like why is this happening? What's time to time? Is that yeah. like uh Every once time a you're month here? Yeah. or usually about ten times a month. night. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> hey, so uh with that being said, like you know, you've had these experiences frequently. I don't know if it's because you dine out frequently or if it's just because we of the Mushong effect. Right. It's it's the Mushong effect. But, I mean, <laughs> I guess, like, from my point of view, and Lori and I were talking about this later, we were like, you know, I mean, going out to dinner, it, it's it's like, I don't want it to become like you don't, you, you don't know, how would I say this? You like, you don't want it to be a bad experience, so, but it often... Something often happens like that where it's like, man, I'm paying a lot of money for this. Like, right. so that's what Molly said. Like, I'm paying a lot of money for this. I don't want, yeah, you know, I don't want this. ninety five a plate. So, <clears throat> yeah, know, this is not yeah. what I expect, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, it, it just makes sense. I mean, you guys both like to cook a lot. Love I mean, you, you're good yeah. at it. I mean, it's kind of gotten to the point where it's just service isn't great and it's sort of overrated, really. But, Especially when you're paying that kind of money. But I feel, okay, like, if I was at, uh, I don't want to call out Applebee's, but I'll just yeah. use them as an example. They're they're kind of that mid-range sit-down restaurant. They're mm -hmm. lower range. But I, I feel that the turnover at one of those restaurants are probably a lot more because... Sure. The client, the customer turnover, the the, the uh, staff, staff oh, there. Maybe, so there's uh, probably a lot more newer people. There's probably a lot more I don't care type people there. This is my first job at a at a restaurant where you're paying. Um, like I said, it was um, eighteen twenty, nine, nine, a 20 plate, bucks yeah. a plate. You, you'd feel you're you'd have you're paying that that type price. Pasta does not cost that much. No. <laughs> that money should go towards, you know, better stat, making sure your customers are satisfied. 
the the word of mouth is one of the best things, you know, for someone to come in and say, "Oh, I re- that was awesome," you know. And do you, do you think that not not necessarily this restaurant, but restaurants that have been established for a while and have that reputation of being a a good place to go for X Y Z cuisine, you know, it's the place to go for toasted raviolis. It's the place to go for steak. It's do they stop caring about the customer service factor or what they're actually putting on the plate until it hurts them? I would imagine that. I I kind of was thinking along those lines, like either later that evening or the next day, when I was thinking back on it, because like they, you know, they just probably shrug it off. Right. She told us it happens from time to time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which was like the worst thing to say. Right. She should have said, "Oh, you know, I can't apologize enough." You know, we're going to make sure that this doesn't happen and again. You know, come she, back and see us yeah. again. You know, that sort of thing. And she disappeared. She yeah. wasn't really attentive to us e- either. I yeah. mean, you don't need to be, you know, I don't need you to wipe my mouth clean and all that. <laughs> well, and part of but, that is, too, you said they had people doing the water service for them. Because, you know, it, it, like Applebee's, the waitress is doing the water service. Yeah. Where yeah. If, that, if that's being taken care of by another staff member... She doesn't necessarily have to be there as much. So right. that's a fine line, too. Yeah. Being there too much and not enough. Yeah, but... Oh, no, I'm not making excuses. I mean, she also... Pa- you, you see her pass by the table and then <laughs> beeline the other way, you right. know, mm. to another... But anyway, uh, you know, yeah. another one of the experiences, you know... For your book. I feel... Dining out with Greg. But I, yeah. I feel, though, if you go out, if you're paying your money... You should have a good experience. Well, that's what I'm saying. Your ex- your expectation is really high when it comes to that sort of thing. So whenever, you, so it's like you get how many times do you get burned where you're like, okay, we're really gonna like stick to the Applebee's where we know what we we know what we're gonna yeah. get. But you can have bad meals at Applebee's. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. sometimes you'll your food just won't be that great. Well, but the service is still wonderful. You know. Yeah, I, we, we've had that. We we go to local places around here quite a bit. And we'll, there's one place in particular that the service is great, food is great, but then every once in a while you catch it on an off night. Yeah. It's not going to stop me from going there. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, hey. Yeah. You know, I think I missed my calling. Uh-oh. <laughs> DJ? That's how you're going to do that. It, it, close. So. <laughs> so. Well, that's why we have Millie's toy down here. So I've, um. Millie has this toy that she's been playing with. Have you, have you started taping the speakers yet so they're quieter? <laughs> That's a great idea. Scotch tape works great. Uh. So the funny thing is, if you've ever listened to baby toys, the the uh, they'll have like... Come and say hi. There's fun on five. So anyway, th- this is called the Cube from VTech. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's my review. Uh... Gosh, no. I don't know. That thing looks awfully heavy. Like she could smash her face if she no, could it's, pick it up. it's pretty light. She picks it up all the time. Oh yeah. But she's strong. Like there's that. these songs on each so there's like a, a cat in a in a square, a dog in a s in a star, a, a bird in a circle, and a cow in a triangle. You know, obviously to teach them the sounds shapes. of the animal and yeah. the shapes and all that. But the songs I know I could have done, but I mean, yeah. I don't know. Let, here's the. They don't let's like see. death metal kitty songs. Triangle. Okay, wait a minute. Listen to this. Okay, here's the cow in the triangle. The cow sings. Moo, moo. Here we go. Mm-hmm. The cow in the triangle wants to sing for you. Moo, 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 moo. The cow's in the triangle. <laughs> That's terrible. What do you want it to be? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Like that is at least terrible. rhymed it. <laughs> the cow in the triangle. It's so... Circle. Okay. Here's bir- the bird sings. Tweet, tweet. The bird in the circle sings a song that's wonderful. Tweet, 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 tweet. The bird's in the circle. Yeah, that's awful. That's what I say. Every so, t- so what are your lyrics? Play every, it on us. I, yeah, every, you come just on, you say you can do better. Every time she plays this, I'm like, I know I can do better. You know, 
What's I'm, your death metal I'm version? thinking, no, no, that's <laughs> no, that's fine having that that little uh, cutesy beat. You know, I, I'm fine with that. I'm just saying there could have been a little bit more than, you know, two lines of tweet, 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 burn in a circle. You know, I mean, <laughs> kind of country there. Yeah, burn in a circle. <laughs> uh, anyway, I I really think I could do better. All right. So and when's you your have. toy coming out? I, that my toy, Greg's toys will, uh, <laughs> they'll be launching soon. Going back to our pre-show. No, 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 no. Uh, I thought you really had maybe written a little jingle I that you were going to I'm replace. sorry. Well, he's you said, leading into this. Yeah, like, you said you missed your calling. Yeah. I, I just know I could write something better. Man, okay. Next show. Prove it. Prove it. I'll, <laughs> next show. But you got to figure, uh, VTech probably has, they're like, all right, I need you to write some <laughs> lyrics for this. Uh, and this, I need it in three minutes. This, <laughs> right, right. this shape. Uh, cows in the triangle. What is it? Isn't that wonderful? Moo, 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 moo. Cows in a triangle. Love it. That's gold. Brilliant. It'll <laughs> make millions. <laughs> well, you we don't have time to change it. It's, we're at the two-minute mark, so yeah. let's just go with it's it. It's in production already. <laughs> we recorded it as you said it. <laughs> <laughs> really? You just recorded it? <laughs> yeah, I, I... There you go. No, I just... I, I'm serious about the scotch tape thing. That is a good idea. She will get to the age where she's smart enough to play with the volume controls. Like, I think that one has a... a yeah, a low and a she high. She will continue to turn it up because she'll figure it out and it annoys you. If you put scotch <laughs> tape over the speaker, that kills that sound. It's yeah. great. Great. Well, yeah, well... Trust me. Right now, it's just us playing with her, and yeah. you know, she'll get to a point it, where she's self-sufficient. And, yeah, and then it'll be like, "Will you shut that yeah. damn thing off?" <laughs> <laughs> yep, scotch tape. It's your friend. Oh man, you want to get to a snack? Yeah, let's do it. All right, uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Cashews, All right, guys. This week, we have the Bueno Mo is Mojo. It Mo Mojo Salsa from uh, Matt Carpenter. It's an exclusive from Schnook Supermarket. So, did you get this today? Who is Matt Carpenter? No, I got this like a week ago. Oh, okay. I thought you ate it all already. No. So he's he's a uh, got kicked out of the game last night. Yeah, did he? Yeah. Mm. So here's the thing: the card and who is he? He's card with the Cardinals. Cardinals. He's our first base. Cardinals are oh the baseball team. Yes, the okay. St. Louis Cardinals. All right. So they make they uh, <sighs> what there was a there was a thing about uh, earlier this season yeah. that they made the best salsa and that this hashtag. Was this is her magic salsa. And yeah, they went on a tight. They went on a. They went on a tear. Yeah, it was a hashtag. It's it's gotta all about. The the, gotta be the salsa. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a lot more liquidy than I expected. Yeah, I'm gonna pop that, that like, open. Pictures and videos I've seen of him making it. It looks like he's cooking it on the stovetop, which I've never. Yeah. Cooked I've salsa. made salsa. On a, you, but you yeah. cooked it. Yeah. Hmm. We've never done that. So there, there's a. Uh, for those watching the video. Hmm. So um, we're gonna give this a try, and we need our Cardinals to start winning some games oh because goodness. the earlier they're done, the more the sooner the Blues take over. What do you guys think? I mean, what's your prediction? Are they gonna? Do they stand a chance? Do they, are they gonna make the playoffs? No. I was listening to the game over the weekend. One of the games they were winning. I don't remember who they were playing. And, and Mike Shannon said over and over again, "Well, I think they just ought to go out and sweep the Brewers and then sweep the Cubs because there was two. Um, there's two. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Two series left. Oh. And if they won all six games, they would put themselves into first place. Oh. Well, they've gone right out and gotten just destroyed in the first two games against the Brewers. Well, hopefully, well, we gotta win three out of the next four. To make the wild card? Really? At least. Right? Yeah. Probably. So this salsa... It's real sweet. It's very mild, and it's sweet. It's not bad, but it's not... I'm used to a uh, hotter salsa. Yeah, it's not my ideal style. It's... Kind of got a chili flavor. 
we had good salsa, you know, and that, and that was in the hospital this weekend. And there was a, is it Chili's or Chevy's up there on Tesson Ferry by St. Anthony's? Uh, Chevy's. Chevy's, yeah. They have great salsa. Yeah, it's really good. They, kind of garlicky. Yeah, they have really, really good salsa. Now, I'm going to have to say, this isn't my favorite salsa. It's too sweet. Too liquidy. And I... Eh, the liquidy doesn't bother me. Like you said, I, I, I'm i like getting a little thicker. chili flavor. Yeah. Um, Like a cowboy chili kind of chili, or... Like chili yeah, just the chili, like powder. chili powder. Like yeah. it's got that flavor. Like this could probably use some garlic and yeah. some jalapenos. Man, little, it's got no spice at all. A little lemon juice, maybe. Or lime little, juice. Lime juice, not lemon juice. A little thickening up is what it could use. We should ride him. Let him know it's. Yeah, he well, do better. We just hope that. This salsa, us eating that, yeah. gives them right. some power. Some power, right? Sure. All right. It is. It's got to be the salsa. That's that's what the thing is. It is a little spicy. Mm-hmm. I got a little spice back on the last one I had. Yeah. So, um, if you uh, don't know the Cardinals when they're playing now and they do something good, uh, they they're doing the, like a a dip and chip motion. Oh, I never. You haven't seen really? that? I've seen, seen it, I guess. They he. Does that about every five minutes? That's that's the thing. You should start doing well, that work. Commercials on the radio like every five minutes. For this? Yeah. For on, the salsa, really? On the on the broadcast, the Cardinal broadcast. So when I went to, so I guess I went the first weekend that it was available, and it it was really hard to find. Like they were sold out the first time I went there. And they go, we'll have some on Saturday morning. There's a truck coming in. So I, w- I actually went in because I was awake. Molly went to work, and I had Millie. I'm like, come on, Millie. Let's go up and get, get some salsa. Did you go to Festus or somewhere else? Yeah, I went to Festus. And I asked, there was a guy um, stocking the chip aisle, and I s- asked him. And he goes, yeah, we're supposed to get three cases. It's, it's going to be at the deli. So I went up to the deli. And they told me, like, I don't know if anyone, if it even came in. and Somebody the, robbed the truck? I don't know, but someone actually knew what the heck I was talking about <laughs> behind the counter. They go, how many you need? And I said, just one. She gave it to me, and they, they told me that one case instead of three came in. They were supposed huh. to get three. Hmm. So don't know if it's doing well or if if it's still selling well but well, the problem is he tried to commercialize it that took the mojo right away yeah yeah That's about the time they i agree talking. i agree yep. there you go yep sell out really sell yeah, out sell out right yeah because like he needs more money yeah actually the proceeds are going to cardinals care i think is that uh, right yeah he's leading the league in the home run still isn't he yeah i think so but uh yeah they're gonna they're gonna have to really turn it on to make the playoffs so for you not liking this, you're eating the heck out of it. I'm hungry, dude. Oh. So hungry. So did you guys see this about Will Smith? He, 50th birthday was uh, yesterday? Really? He I, jumped. I thought that he was older than that. Older? Yeah. Gosh, it's weird to me that he's turned 50. But uh, So for his 50th birthday, he he has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, he does jumped. Oh, yeah. We do. He jumped out like of a, five of them. He jumped out of a helicopter with a bungee cord over the Grand Canyon. Huh. It was pretty cool, but it like looked super terrifying. It's really well so shot. Really he well bungeed done. from a helicopter yeah. into the Grand Canyon, which was really bizarre because if you watch the video, like from the angle that his family and like people were watching from, you just see him go straight down. You can't see because you can't see over the the oh, lip from right. where they're standing. So you can't see him bounce? <laughs> yeah. So it looks like he just keeps going. And you just see that bungee just... I, it was a huge, super... I don't know how long it was, but it was <laughs> super it. long. And uh, it looked, It just looks so terrifying. But Man, that's interesting. I, you would think that, okay, helicopter... The physics of it. The, yeah. yeah, once someone like is going down, obviously there's got to be some strain on the helicopter. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I guess yeah. it's not enough to 
It was a really big helicopter. I mean, there was just multiple people inside. Oh. And then uh, on the ground, they had uh, Alfonso Ribeiro was like... Oh, Carlton. He was, yeah. he, was do- he was with the family, and I don't know, he was doing kind of like a play-by-play type thing, and then he was saying that once the... Uh, Did he do the... <laughs> no, Carlton, he didn't do yeah. the Carlton uh, shuffle or whatever it's called. So they had to bring him, like, once once it stops bouncing and it gets to, like, a stable point, and then they have to helicopter him over to, like, a, a landing pad. Sure. And they're, like, slowly, la- you know, slowly landing will down on the pad and he's saying that um so then like you know four or five people come in and they're you know unstrapping him or whatever but they're saying that there could be a potential updraft with the sure. helicopter that they don't expect and that would cause the hell i think he said the helicopter would go down first and then it would like shoot up and it would like catapult him right back up into the air possibly. Oh, wow. so it's pretty dangerous <laughs> right <now. laughs> oh yeah it's a pretty cool video. Check it out. It's only like, and you can skip ahead. It's like eight minutes long. You can skip ahead like four minutes. But. So is that something that, um, like, your average person can do, or is that I think just so. a uh, millionaire type of thing? No, I bet. I bet somebody could hmm. could do it. I mean, there's, there's pro- I'm sure there's a significant cost associated because it was a whole crew of people in the air and then on the ground. Well, that could have been just because who he was too. Well, I would imagine that th- he's that, more important. Uh, well, for sure. And of course, there was multiple helicopters oh, up there. Sure. And multiple camera angles, drones. Because if he dies, awesome. I mean, they're running out of catch him. <laughs> yeah. Um, but man, it it's like made me think like, yeah, that'd be that's kind of a cool way to celebrate a birthday to do something. Screw that. <laughs> I'm not saying that exact same thing, but I mean, typically we don't do anything that yes. extravagant. I'll go to a nice dinner. Yeah, exactly. that's what I was gonna say. Like You're more of a scotch. jump into a nice steak, you yeah, know? Exactly. <laughs> a nice steak and jump into a really nice glass of bourbon. Yeah. And I don't know. It'd be cool to try something really adventurous like that on your... Like Wagyu steak? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Greg, would you ever do anything like that? Yeah, definitely. Would yeah? you? Yeah, I have, would. Have yeah. you guys bungeed? I never have. No. I've never have either. Annette would. I did she zip right lining. Now, but she would. I did zip lining uh, in Gatlinburg. I've done... Uh, I have ridden in a helicopter. I've never jumped out of one. I don't think I've ever ridden in one. I've never ridden in one either. I'm, I'm seeing some... Um, Man, there, there's some that's like uh, helicopter floor landing in the Grand Canyon with picnic and limousine. <laughs> there's already a chat window popping up. But that's Hello, man, to fly it? to the Grand Canyon floor. That's not to jump out on a bungee cord, is it? No, I can't find anything like that. The other thing I thought was interesting is that so whenever they took off um, from the ground, he never got into the helicopter. He just stood on the oh on the runner the, the runner the whole time, and and they had him like a strap from his waist connected. Well, sure, if into, you're getting in, you're not jumping out. <laughs> yeah, it's be real hard to get out of that thing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. kinda, I think that's kind of and they actually uh, when they get out to that point, they counted down like you know five, four, three, two, one. And gave him a shove. Oh, really? He was scared. I mean, you could tell he was totally scared. I would uh, be too. I was like scared watching it because I'm like, God, it just looks. He's such a treasure. <laughs> I. It just the camera angle was pretty good, and it's just like, ugh. There's it. bridges. Uh, that's not the Man, I canyon. I some of that stuff's illegal. Some of that base jumping stuff. Those people. Oh yeah. If they get caught, I mean, it's like a, it's a offense. Yeah. I don't know if it's a federal offense or a state offense or what, but I mean, you can get in trouble for that. Some of that stuff. Hmm. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, Grand Canyon. Only thing at oh Navajo, okay, near the north rim of the Grand Canyon over the Colorado River. Oh, and the other thing that was kind of strange is he wasn't wearing like any really any safety Pants. gear. He wasn't wearing like a helmet. Which I what what's a helmet gonna do for you? But it was just yeah. kind of funny to see somebody doing something like that without like any safety gear. Did on. he have it on his waist or his ankle? Uh, it was around, like it was around like a ha- big harness, and it came hmm. out. Of like a so stomach, it, I guess. okay, so his waist, so yeah. Snap you in half. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he used to be able. I don't. I like. I haven't bungee jumped, so I don't even know anymore. But it used to be he either could strap to your waist yeah. or you go by your ankle. Yeah. Um, man, did you hear about speaking of uh, the salsa? Well, not really salsa. Did you Chips. hear about that uh, rapper? That says that flaming hot Cheetos sent him to the that. hospital. <laughs> no, heard, I didn't I've hear heard this. that if you eat too many yeah. flaming hot Cheetos, you're in bad shape. We've talked about that yeah, on the show. Yeah, I think we have. Now this rapper's. Oh, um, he looks brilliant. Yeah, he look, I bet he's got 
many <laughs> Re, little little Zan. Oh, I know him. X A N. Yeah. No, you heard. listen to a lot yeah, of I'm little sure Zan. My boys. Little little Zan. My yeah. boy, my boys are probably familiar with it. Yeah. Name. He's uh, I mean, twenty. He's got face tattoos like that. Yeah, he's got yeah he's got it on his face and his neck oh, and his hand, yeah. so and uh, over his fingers. Let's see, peep. I don't know what he's got on his hands. Um, Twenty-two-year-old talked about his recent trip to the emergency room uh, on his vi- on his Instagram. <laughs> I just want everybody to know I was in the hospital, not due to any drugs, but I guess I ate too many hot Cheetos. It ripped my ripped something in my stomach. I puked a little blood. We go, oh, man. We good, he we says. Good. Sure. So, we good. Yeah, I mean that's a documented thing. Yeah, yeah. It can tear you up. I mean, I don't know how many flaming cheap. Yeah, I don't know how many flaming hot Cheetos you. Have to eat. I mean, is a bag safe? Two I bags mean, safe? I mean, I always you heard a... can't hot doesn't that cause can cause ulcer or repeated use? Yeah, but I don't know if like repeated use of acute you you know like you eat an entire bag versus you eat a half a bag every, every day, day for four weeks, right? And yeah. I would I would I would imagine it's probably it was probably more like that. Like he was a repetitive eater. I don't know. I don't I, know. I've heard like if you eat copious amounts of flaming hot Cheetos. You're you're in trouble. Hmm. Hmm. I can imagine. I like the flaming hot uh, Doritos. No, the hot chicks. Chi- the the fry. Yeah, flaming hot chicks. No, the <laughs> is that from Chick Fil A? The fries. The chi- the Chester's oh, fries. Yeah. yeah. Like hot fries. There. What was it? I saw battered in Chester's hot fries. Oh, the, it's like a Cheeto with macaroni and cheese. That's, that yeah. Might be what it is. They have yeah. that in the frozen. Food section, man. So I got another. We were talking about bungee jumping. How about this for a excursion type thing? Six Flags is having a little uh, coffin challenge. Oh. You'll spend thirty hours in a coffin, and you can win. Yeah, they- three hundred a, a whopping. Three hundred dollars cash, and you're in a drawing for that, I yeah, believe, right? Yeah, so if yeah. everybody uh, completes no the thirty yeah. hours, yeah, no, it's not like everyone gets three hundred dollars who does it. Yeah, it's if if you're the only one, you get three hundred. Okay. If like this sounds like something we would cook up and sponsor as the show, if the exactly, I could afford three hundred dollars yeah. to try to get somebody to do something That's stupid. Stupid. So six flag. the money that six flags right has. exactly. They'll be chosen to. But it's all over the news. Oh, it is too. A uh, slightly used two by seven foot coffin. <laughs> slightly used. Yeah, they say that. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, October thirteenth, fourteenth in the park. You'll get two 2019 gold season passes, a Fright Fest prize package, which includes two VIP haunted house passes, and a ticket for two to ride the Freak Train for Freaks Unleashed, and $300 cat. The coffin itself and $300 cat. Right. Oh, yeah. so I, what am I going to do with a damn coffin? Right. Turn it into a cooler, you know? That's a prize package of what? $542. The coffin yeah. itself is probably worth more than anything else. Right. It they, depends. They should give you, like, a better prize would be just a lifetime pass. You know. I wonder if they're yeah. not making it, because making it that lucrative because several people, like too many, they couldn't keep up with the demand of people well, that would to want to do, to do it. it. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah, it's a drawing to do it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but the, <clears throat> but it um, you get so the one of the things though. It says there will be one six-minute bathroom break every hour, so you'll be able to get out of the coffin every hour. What? Like I can't do what I need to do in six minutes. See, if you have to poop, you know you better you better I, have a thunder dump. I could do it. Well, I know you could do it, but it you know sometimes it takes two minutes for me to just get comfortable. Especially if I know I'm on the clock. Like yeah, I know that would, that would be pressure, and if you have to go in a Six Flags bathroom, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be yeah. Well, the bathroom's three hundred yards that way. Yeah, you're like, oh, great, thanks. So yeah, every hour you're taking a break. That just seems I don't know. 
I, there's like pros and cons to that because you could be sitting, laying there thinking, okay, well, I'm going to be getting out in 30 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever. But if you know, like you're clicking, it's clicking down. Like it seems like time would go by slower if you're getting out every, oh, yeah. right. every you know, 50, yeah, fu- dude, 54 minutes. Well, do you, and if you don't want to get out for that six do minutes, do you have to? Yeah. It may be a legal thing. Oh, they have sure to get is. you out. Oh yeah. Because so you would never get into a good sleep. Yeah. That would suck. You'd be like getting down, and then someone would go. Get down. <laughs> All right, time to get. Get what out. What's he doing in there? <laughs> well, well, and they gotta, say you could have your you cell phone. Time somehow. You could have your cell phone in there and you, mm. they'll let you charge it. So. <laughs> but here's the thing you're not going to charge it in six minutes. <laughs> no. Like I said, though, you could charge it and then take a, an hour nap. Then it'll yeah. be charged by the time you come back out the, sec- the next time. Yeah. Or you can just bring one of those power bricks or whatever in there Sneak with you. Sneak in there with you. I don't think you have to sneak it. I I don't think they're a pat down, like they're a bringing test. you any food you want to. I think. I wonder if it's just park food. <laughs> yeah. Here's a funnel I'll cake. A funnel cake. You need a lot more bathroom faster. breaks. <laughs> the turkey leg. <laughs> Oh. There's a person in here. Oh, no, it's my just son a Eli. Leg. My son Eli went to Six Flags with his friend like two weeks ago, and he comes home. Dad, you ever had that turkey leg? <laughs> like, no, I never have. I've seen people walk around with them. Yeah. I never. It never crossed my mind to buy T-Rex one for myself. Leg. He's like, oh, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> I don't know. To me, they. I, I've never had one either. I love turkey. Don't get me wrong. It's yeah. dark meat, so yeah, I'm sure but, it's good. It probably is. I just never... But it's just so... Yeah, I don't know. I just seem barbaric. Yeah. I don't know about barbaric. It just seems kind of gross. You're not going to attract Walking ladies. around with a big old wallum. I guess that is barbaric. Yeah. Man. So you guys been watching some television or uh, movies? Uh, we, I said we'd watch the... Goldberg's uh, marathon the other day. We're going to watch the season premiere tonight. Watch Big Bang Monday night, season premiere of that. It was. This is the last season, right? Anticlimactic, yeah. yes. Yeah. It is the last season. Um, watched Solo over the weekend with Jackson. Slept through most of it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was okay. I think if you don't hold it to a standard of, of a Star Wars movie, it's fine. I think it's, I think it's fine. One of the things I heard that uh, the Target exclusive Solo. DV or Blu-ray um, has a special feature on there that shows about the new Disney ride. Oh. Um, it's a Millennium Falcon ride that's going to be like a Star Wars when there's Star Wars land. I forgot Galaxy's Edge. I think is the name something of it. Like that. Um, so that's something if you're in the lookout hmm. for that. But it was an okay movie. I think it. I think it's fine. I. I didn't really. It it's one of those where there was nothing spectacular about it, yeah. huh. and there's really nothing that you're like, eh, this is so bad. You it know, was just kind right. of in the middle. Mediocre. It was weird to me to see so many characters that came from other things. Like you could, you knew who each one of them were. Like Woody Harrelson, Daniel Glover, um, the chick from Game of Thrones. So the guy the bad guy was can, vision can, can i spoil it do you mind if i spoil something hey there's going to be he turns into uh Harrison Ford no 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 <laughs> no drives a millennium falcon so there's one kind of cameo at the end hey if, if you haven't seen solo skip over like this next minute <clears throat> so or 2 minutes um so at the end you find out the the guy the the lead commander in charge of the thing yeah. is Darth Maul. Yeah. Okay, he was cut that in was half stupid. at the end of Phantom Menace. Right. So I think in the cartoon or whatever, he was given robotic legs or something. So maybe a lot. But the thing is, okay, they show him on this little screen. You see what he looks like. You know that's Darth Maul. Yeah. He's talking to this girl. The then girl Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, and then for some reason... First, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, he's having a basically a Skype call with this girl. Right. When he's done, he picks out his lightsaber, the, you know, the two-headed yeah, yeah. thing, and goes... <laughs> like, why do you have to do yeah. that? Hmm. It's like, <laughs> you know... That was the end of the conversation? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, was, he's getting ready to hang up. And... He's like, right, <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, cheesy. it's just like... It's just like if you were having... <laughs> 
<laughs> like if, oh, no, don't say it. It's not that kind of shit. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if you're having a conversation with, okay, Matt Carpenter, you're talking to him over the air, oh. and all of a sudden he, he pulls out a he baseball goes, bat. Whoop, I got to go. He pulls out a bat. Just, <laughs> it made no sense. Huh. You know, it's just, like, just in case. It was really uh, uh, the... Disney company saying, just in case you don't remember who I am, yeah, I'm yeah. the guy with the double <laughs> yeah. lights. And a, we need to sell some more of these. We got a bunch in the warehouse. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I thought it, I, it was kind of strange seeing Vision, especially, threw me off. When I figured out that's who that guy was, I'm like, it's almost like they're signing up all the Marvel people to be in this movie. I, yeah. I just think, well, they. Bob Iger actually said this week they're going to slow down on. They're saying they're doing too many yeah, Star Wars movies, I heard that. Oh, and thank goodness. So you I don't see them anyway. I tried for a while. I think what they're going to do, they're going to just stop this in between. They need mm. to and just give yourself two years, three years to make a good movie instead some, of some of just them were, rushing were them. good though, weren't they? I, I'm trying to remember what they were. I that I've enjoyed okay. I've enjoyed them. You know, you didn't like the Last Jedi. It, <sighs> it's growing on you. No, I, I. There were issues with the storyline. Yeah, but Space Leo was stupid. But I I think yeah I I agree. They they should have just killed her off. Yeah, then. They, it would have been right. the perfect opportunity. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know, I think I think that's. But then they have all these other projects coming on. They have John Favreau's live uh, action Star Wars series. Is that going to be on TV? It's going to be on the Disney streaming service called oh. Disney Play. Is what that's going to be called. Hmm. Hmm. Um. So anyway, yeah, I guess you put on nine one one on yeah, there. You, you guys watch that show? I watch it. I haven't seen the first episode of this oh, new season so yet. There's two episodes out. It was two. Sunday and Monday, but it's pretty cool because the the first episode seemed kind of strange. They were just introducing some new characters, but this, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, in it now. Yeah, <laughs> I was watching it. I'm like, do I know her? <laughs> I haven't seen her in like twenty something years, probably. She doesn't look as good, or no? I mean, it's just she looked familiar, but I was like, <laughs> "Who is that?" I'm sorry, but you're talking like you dated her in high yeah. school or something. Yeah. I asked oh, Lori, I go, "Do I know her?" It's, a, it's Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been she hasn't while. called me in a while. Yeah, but then the second episode goes into, and it's a, it's a two part episode, which is kind of weird that they don't do that on the first episode. It's a two part where they have an earthquake. Yeah. Which is really cool, and they do a really good job of it. Like they must have a really huge budget to be able to pull off like some of the things that they're showing. Is this Fox, Fox. So yeah. episode one and two aren't like a. No. you're saying part two it's, is a two-hour right. episode. Oh man, episode one start was on Sunday. That's just an hour long, and it's just an hour like standalone where they introduce some new characters, and then episode two is a two-part. So uh, I guess the next one's on next Monday, but, yeah. or Tuesday or whatever. I liked the first season. I really liked it. It's I a thought, good show. I thought it was good. Um, it's a little sexual, you know, and some yeah. things where it's like, eh, kind of feels you're, a little awkward watching it with a And there's some things you're like, uh, it's 2018, I guess we have to bring up this issue because it's in the news and, you know, things yeah. like that. Um, I like it, though. Uh, and think... it's weird that the one one per like she was kind of the main character in the last episode she didn't sign on for season two and she's so. in the credit what's her name bassett B Bass no angela bassett's the the black lady. black lady oh okay i got him wrong then what's uh she has a anyway yeah she she's in like movies or something she was in something that yeah she saw come out recently molly says that she can't commit to any show she was on that nashville show that oh, really? she watches oh. i think she was only like a season on that too huh. i know who you're talking about i can picture she was like the dispatcher like yeah the number one dispatcher now that's jennifer love hewitt and yeah spoiler okay. but um yeah it's a good show i uh i was uh going through my collection watch a couple horror movies uh do you remember the twilight zone movie the movie yeah no. it came out in the 80s <clears throat> like at the very beginning, it's um, Dan Aykroyd and oh gosh, what the heck is his name? He played. Uh, why can't I think of his name? He was uh, the voice of Marlin on uh, Finding Nemo. My. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, I know who you're talking about. Why can't I think of that? Um, was it Albert Brooks? Yeah. 
anyway, they're talking about TV shows or whatever, and then they get into the Twilight Zone, and that's like the start. But the, Steven Spielberg, huh? The whole the whole movie is um, <clears throat> broken up into little vignettes. Like there's, like the show was. Yeah. You know. So there there's like four different movies. Okay. Or four different things for stories, this, stories, stories for this movie, yeah. and I I realize that. I actually really enjoy that type um, movie because the vignette style. Yeah, the, the because I I really like Creep Show. That's another one like that. There's a there's one uh, t- Tales from the Dark Side. The movie was kind of the same way, and um, there's a, another movie called Trick or Treat, which is really that same way, where it's got a bunch of movies. Or a bunch of stories in a movie, mm-hmm. hmm. and I kind of feel that maybe it's because. Did you like uh, Crash? Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, I haven't. I don't. I don't remember <laughs> that though. I remember really enjoying that. It though. was vignette style like that, where there's like five key characters, and there's a car car wreck, and it revolves around them before the car leading up. Oh to the yeah, car yeah, wreck yeah. Car wreck. Yeah, I like that style too. Four rooms. Uh, that was another one where each, that was kind of all the stories connected, but it was each a different story. <laughs> I don't know. I I really enjoy that style. I, I I don't know why, but I I guess it's because it's a short little thing you'd watch. You could you don't have to watch a whole movie. You could go okay. I'm gonna stop it here and pick off later. But uh, pick I watched off later. Yeah. I watched that, and I also watched uh, an old, uh, not that old, 1408, a uh, Stephen, is it Stephen King? John Cusack is in it, and it's about a hotel room that everyone dies in. It's pretty good. Mm. I hadn't seen it in a long time, and I'm like, eh, this sounds fun to watch. Because I like Halloween. One thing I want to do on my half ass production website is watch a bunch of Halloween TV shows. You know, oh, like... The Halloween episodes? Yeah. Like, um... Yeah, like... The Simpsons. Well, I The Simpsons had one every every year, but like Night Court's Halloween episode right. or... Yeah. Growing Pains. Growing Pains. <laughs> that's a good one, you know. I have a few Family that... Ties. Yeah. I have a few that I, I want to watch, like, Alf's... Uh, yeah, Halloween, uh, Mr. Matters. Belvedere's Halloween, <laughs> The Fall Guy. Remember The Fall Guy? Yeah. There was yeah. a Fall Guy Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, my god. Knight Rider. Man. So the, I want to go through those and uh, see how they hold up. <laughs> not well. Not, not, yeah, I agree. Probably oh, I'm sure well. they're all excellent. <laughs> like, I, I still, to this day, say that Roseanne had some of the best Halloween oh, yeah. episodes ever. Well, it was um, those pumpkins that they carved. Yeah. That was the first oh, time yeah. you ever saw anything yeah. that amazing. Where they had them details yeah. in it. But they would always, like their costumes and everything, mm-hmm. they really put a lot of work into those. Yeah. Home Improvement was another oh, one yeah. that was really yeah, good. That's true. They did. They were really good at uh, both uh, Christmas and Halloween. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a show. It's been a show. Uh, I don't know if you want to quickly say Sirius XM buy, bought Pandora. For $3.5 billion. What? But did you Holy hear in the crap. contract? Who uses Pandora? Wait, so Pandora? Pandora is the one where you just pick like a, a genre, a song or whatever, and it'll yeah. just play like a radio. And this, there's some commercials in there. Who li- who uses that? We use it. Do you? Mm-hmm. I I don't use it that don't often, pay, but I don't pay for it. But we yeah, we use a free version. But I could see them helping each other out because who gets Maybe. satellite radio? Maybe a bunch of people do, but you know. <laughs> um, yeah. One thing in the contract which is a little weird. Um, so I think they have Pandora in the contract has until. Uh, I think it's in January or something is when the deal will be closed. And they have until then, if some other buyer puts in a bigger deal, hmm. they can accept yeah. this other offer. Interesting. And I don't know who they're waiting for, you know. Cause, Maybe we'll find out. I mean, if I, you know, I think Amazon would be a good one. They don't really have a great music no. service. Yeah. What's spot? What's Spotify's Spotify is who Spotify. My, my kids use all the time. And I mean, I, 
they I mean they would buy them just to get rid of them. Right, that's right. what I was thinking. Sirius XM says they're just going to keep them how they are, but there may be you pay for this premium plan and then you'll get satellite radio with it or something. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I I think satellite radio is hurting. I, I think I Sirius is, is hurting. Yeah, I I don't see how they're. I, I mean, they don't with Apple Music, Google Music, right, Spotify, right. all that where you can hear any music you mm-hmm. want. Even you could put any genre out yeah. and pit play, and mm-hmm. yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah, I mean, why you need the traditional station type things that just end up playing the same things over and over again anyway? Yeah, right. I mean, I get it. Sometimes you want to listen to the '80s channel, but also they they play. They don't always play just the hits. They'll play no, like so something obscure, that yeah, yeah, side B. Okay, yeah. Oh, Duran Duran, I love them. This is some song on, you know, some yeah. that you've never played on the radio, you know. So, anyway, man, we have had a show. It's we've had show. salsa. We've had Oktoberfest beer. We've, I, I mean, how could it get much better? Did you just read that on that card? You just <laughs> I, did. <laughs> what it looked I didn't. Like. I, was, I was trying to pull up my uh, rate, review, and subscribe. Uh <laughs> Check us out, stuckinbetapodcast.com. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch. We're on all of them. Um, find where we are uh, by going to our website. Also, you may want to check out our other show, which is a video show, uh, Beer 30. We just call it Beer 30. <laughs> <laughs> Beer 30.tv. Search on YouTube for Beer 30 TV. And that is it for this show. It's been great, fellas. See you next time. See ya.